Hi, Steph. So we hi. hi. We met back in March uh, when we were both uh, on a panel for International Women's Day. So that's when I met you. Um, and uh, so you're a consultant chef for everything to do with food. Yeah. And you've had yeah. an amazing career where you've traveled the world and experienced lots and lots of different things. So do you want to just tell me your story? Okay, well, um, yes, I'm, I'm a chef. I've been a chef all my life. Uh, it's the only thing I've ever done. Um, and I've traveled the world with my job. So I've worked in America, Australia, Germany, Switzerland, um, London, um, yeah, and all mainly five-star hotels, restaurants. Um, now I run my own consultancy firm. So I work with cafes, farm shops, hotels, bars, pubs, wow. frozen uh, food manufacturers, uh, cookery schools, all sorts. Uh, and you're also you know, and also product development as well. So oh, I do okay. uh, quite a bit of that as well. Great, great. And you're also on the Great British Menu. Sorry, that's my, my son just yes. in the background. Yeah, uh, yeah. I uh, did three years on the Great British Menu and did something on BBC One called Chefs Put Your Menu Where Your Mouth Is. Did three oh. seasons of that too. So, done a little bit of TV, but, um, you know, it's good. So, <laughs> so, obviously, we're in lockdown. Um, and something that really interests me is um, that the government has just launched a campaign to kind of educate people around immune-busting um, foods. Uh, so, luckily yeah. for me, what... Um, one of those foods on that list was yogurt and bananas, natural yogurt and bananas, which I have for my breakfast every, every day anyway. But I just think that's a really good idea. It is. I think we're all, now we're in lockdown, we're all, you know, eating and, and trying new things and experimenting with food. And it's about also taking stock of the fact that when we come out of this, we want to be healthy and you know we want to be as 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 healthy as we can be and i think people are thinking about that now and that's a great thing long may that continue yeah yeah <laughs> healthy and living it's the way forward look at this helen i've got <laughs> water with a bit of mint i know and i was just saying that people's cooking habits have really changed as well during lockdowns lots of people including me um, I've turned into Mrs. Housewife, which is uh, which I recognise myself. I'm I'm baking cakes, um, which I which wow. I, <laughs> people's habits have changed, haven't they? Around around food during lockdown. I think people have got a lot more adventurous. I think it's great that restaurants and and pubs are opening up, and you can get takeaway food. I think that's fantastic. Um, but also that people are having a go, and I know I know people that have Saturday night is international food night and things like that. There's lots going on, you know, people are getting inventive, making bread and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. I know. And so what's your kind of go-to lockdown meal then would you say Steph? Um, for me, um, in the hot weather and it, I mean, it's most of lockdown has been beautiful weather, hasn't it? But most of the time I've been eating, I like fish. I like, chicken I like you know salads lots of vegetables um eat quite a lot of melon and things like that uh, occasionally have a Friday night sort of uh, blow out and a bottle of wine and crisps and nuts and <laughs> I think we all deserve that don't we but um, on the whole I try to try to be as healthy as I can be <laughs> that's that's brilliant so um sorry that's my dog in the background uh, she's um I think a lot of dogs are going to have mental health problems by the end of lockdown because she's completely addicted to her ball. Um, and I've had yeah. to feed it this morning because she's just, she would spend all day dropping it at my feet and me throwing it. And I've already broken a glass already this morning, throwing her ball. Oh no! <laughs> so, so I think dogs and our, and our pets will have to have some sort of therapy when we're out of lockdown. 
they will i've got two dogs and uh, <clears throat> i think they're getting very used to us being around they keep looking at me like when are you going to leave <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so how do you think um how do you think the restaurant business will will change after all of this because we've because <laughs> we're seeing the rise of supper clubs and and you know and things like that now aren't we yeah um supper clubs they're they're great uh, you know i've done quite a few myself i've done um i've been up the emirates spinnaker tower in portsmouth doing a supper club up there which was a, a brilliant venue done a a long table dinner in harrogate in the valley gardens for 160 wow. people that was good wow. fun all on one big long table incredible but uh, and things like the lexus supper club at rudding park which I did with uh, Tom Kerridge and Tommy Banks, which was oh, brilliant. Wow. I did I did dessert. Wow. Yeah, Tommy, Tommy Banks did starter. Tom Kerridge did main course and I made dessert. So I, my wow. dessert was a celebration of Yorkshire Rover. <laughs> Tommy, Banks has done, yeah. Tommy Banks is a great story, isn't he? Because he's, he's, oh. a, he's got Michelin stars and he's never kind of been formally trained, has he? he is a fantastic chef and he's yeah. such a lovely man uh, as well you know and his brother and his his mum and dad they're a lovely family and yeah. they're a great great ambassadors for yorkshire and for yeah. for you know our local food i think they do a fantastic job yeah. but to sort of answer your first question i think that um restaurant business is going to change i think it has to um you know we are socially distancing we don't with regards to facilities and things we have to be careful so things are going to change it is going to be different when when everything opens back up but um you know it has to be now doesn't it really it's yeah. it's yeah. what our customers want and they want to feel safe and we've got to help them to deliver this and that's sort of what i'm looking at now what's the next stage you know how how to help those businesses get back on track yeah so how can people find you? Sorry, let me just grab this dog. <laughs> oh, good dogs and children. So <laughs> how can people find you, Steph? Have you got... Right, Helen. Well, yes, I have. I'm actually in the process of redoing my website, um, which I'm, I'm on with now. So within a month, I should have a really good website. But at the minute... It, uh, my website is uh, stephaniemoon.co.uk. Um, Instagram is stephaniemoon1297. And Twitter is stephanie, capital J, Moon. Great. Thank you so much for your time, Steph. Um, and apologies yeah. for uh, any kind of dog, <laughs> dog noises. <laughs> um, but thanks so much for talking to me. Well, we've got bird noises here. We've got bird <laughs> noises. And I can hear every now and again, I hear it. You might hear a shot. It sounds like a shot, but it's actually, uh, I live in the country, as you can probably tell. It and uh, a lot of, a lot of um, farmers are growing crops and, you know, they have these uh, pressure things to stop birds from yeah. eating the crops. So that's yeah. what that is. Okay. Yeah, it's a gorgeous day. So it, it felt is. good to be out here, Helen. It is. It <laughs> is. Well, it's lovely to speak to you and hopefully I'll meet up with you in real life soon. Yeah. All the best, Helen. Take Thank care. Thank you. Bye. Bye.